This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. Today we're going to talk about the end behavior of polynomials. In this video, we're going to first talk about domain and range, then we're going to talk about end behavior, and then we'll have example one, example two, example three, and an example four. All right, let's get started. When we talk about polynomials, it's convenient if we first jump into domain and range. All polynomials are defined in their domain the same way. They encompass all x values. So the domain for all polynomials would be all real values. All right, that's easy. Let's talk about range. Now, range is not quite as easy. Sometimes for polynomials, the range is all real values. It goes up and down forever, uh, and sometimes not. So it kind of depends on which polynomial you're talking about, depends on the range. Four coordinate planes have been placed up on the screen because when we refer to polynomials and we look at their graphs, four possibilities can exist. All right, what are those four possibilities? All right, well, not that any of the order of these possibilities is important, but what can happen when we talk about their end behavior, in other words, I'm talking about the, what could happen on the right side of the graph and what can happen on the left side of the graph. I'm not really uh, going to be concerned about what happens in the middle of the graph. So we talk about the extreme left and right sides of the graph. All right, well, it turns out that with polynomials, what could possibly happen is that the right side will go up forever and the left side will go up forever. Oh, okay, that's case one. Now case two, you could have both of the sides going down instead. Okay, what's case three look like? Uh, you could have one side going up, like let's say the right side is going up, and you could have the left side going down or vice versa. Maybe in case four, you could have the left side going up and the right side going down. Okay, so these are the four possibilities. And again, I'm not really concerned about what happens in the middle of the graph. Anything can happen. Okay, the, the curve can, you know, do a whole bunch of maneuvers here. It, you know, it could look something like this. Uh, that's one possibility, or uh, another possibility is it could just dip down very low and come up over here. We really don't know what's happening on the middle of the graph. All I want to do today when we talk about in this video about end behavior is just concern ourselves with the extreme left and the extreme right end of the graph. Okay, so these are the four possibilities that could exist. Now, what I've done here is I've drawn... A, an equation, and the equation you could see is y equals 3x squared plus 7x minus 4. I've graphed it, and you've got a picture of it. Um, but let's talk about the left and right side. So when we're looking at the right side over here, um, again, I'm, I'm not even looking at the middle of the graph, just the right side of the graph. On the right side of the graph, the x values keep on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, so this, this part of the curve if I were to explain what's happening on this right side, you could see that this curve is just going to keep on going up and right forever. Okay, it's going right and it's going up forever. So we say because it's on the right side of the graph, we say that x keeps going to infinity. Uh, what's happening to the y values? So as x is going to, to the right side, which of course the numbers are getting bigger, we'd say that's positive infinity. So what's happening to the y values? Well, the y values keep on getting bigger and bigger too. So it goes from 2, 4, 6, 8, and it, and it keeps going up higher and higher and higher. So we say that the y values are going to infinity as well. Okay, so this is the right side of the graph. Now let's talk about the left side of the graph. On the left side, the x values are going to the left and getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Uh, and you can see that because the graph is going left and it's going up forever. It's going left forever, it's going up forever. So we say if the x values are going left forever, they're not going to infinity 
they're going to negative infinity because they're getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Is it equal to negative infinity? No, that's why I have this arrow. It approaches negative infinity. Okay, what's happening to the y values? Well, as we look at this curve, as we're moving to the left, if you put your finger on this curve, the curve would actually be taking you up, and it's going to go up forever. So we say that the curve is going up, or the forever, or the values keep on getting larger and larger and larger. Okay, so that's the end behavior of this example. Let's take a look at another example. All right, here's another example. Got a different curve up here, and you can see that the end behavior is different. So uh, on the right side of this graph, uh, the curve is going up, and it's going right forever. So we'd say that x is going to positive infinity because the curve goes right forever, and the curve is going up. So as we move to the right, right, that's what this says, as we move to the right, the y values are getting bigger and bigger. I mean, just trace your finger along the curve. Your finger is going right, and it's going up forever. Okay, that's the right side. Let's take a look at the left side. So on the left side of the graph, uh, and again, if you're having trouble with this, I really do strongly suggest you run your finger along the curve. So if you run your finger along the curve, you see that your finger would be going left, and it's going down at the same time. Yep, your finger is moving left, and it's moving down at the same time. That's what this curve is doing. It's going left and down forever. So if it's going left forever, the values are getting smaller and smaller and smaller forever. So that is an infinity. A little sloppy, but that is a negative infinity. And since the curve is going down forever, the values are going lower and lower and lower forever. So that's what the infinity symbol is there for. It's going forever, down forever. Okay, there you go. So there's the left side. That's the left branch defined. You'll notice that on the right side, x is always going to be positive infinity. And on the left side, x is always going to be negative infinity. Those things are never going to change. It's just a matter of what's happening to the y values. Are the y values going up, positive infinity, uh, or are the y values going down on this side, which would be negative infinity? So it's just a matter of looking at which way the curve is going up or down. All right, let's grab another example. All right, so in this example, you can see the curve is even getting more strange. A lot of weird things are happening here in the middle of the curve, but I don't really care about that when I talk about end behavior. I just want to know where are the ex what's happening to the extreme right side of the graph and the extreme left side of the graph. So on the right side, we say that the x is going to positive infinity. Yep, the x values are getting greater and greater. All right, again, what's happening to the y values? Tracing your finger along the curve as you go to the right, the graph is going down forever. So you'd say that's negative infinity. All right, on the left side of the graph, you say that x is going to the left forever. Okay, so on the right, x goes to positive infinity. On the left, x goes to negative infinity. Now, on the left side, what's happening to the y values? You could clearly see if you move your finger along the curve, as you're moving to the left, the curve is going up forever. Yep, it's going up forever. So on the right side of the graph, it was going down forever. And over here on the right, uh, sorry, left side of the graph, now it's going up forever. And there you go. There you go. Let's go on to another example. Here's the last example. And we've got a shape here that looks like an M. Got an M shape. So uh, what's happening? All right, again, we're going to talk about the right side of the graph. It's on the right side. X is really easy to describe. It's going right forever. So we put positive infinity. What's the Y doing? Tra tracing your finger along the curve, Y is going down forever. So we put negative infinity. What's happening on the left side? Well, if it's the left side, X is always going to negative infinity. Going to the left forever. All right, now it's a matter of figuring out what's happening to the y values. So if we look at the y values, as we're tracing our finger going farther left, you'd see that the curve is going down forever. If it's going down forever, we put negative infinity. So again, x goes to positive infinity on the right, x is always gonna go to negative infinity on the left, at least for polynomials, that's how it works. And then when you look at the curve where it's headed vertically, 
it's going down forever on the right side, that's negative infinity. And it's going down forever on the left side, that's negative infinity again. All right. That has been End Behavior with MathGuy.com. Go to MathGuy.com, check out our other lessons, our interactive quizzes, and our instructional videos. Take care.